Welcome everyone, this is Quad. Today I'm going to give you my best tips and tricks for the stony tomb farming, as this will easily become one of the best areas to farm in, if not overall, then definitely at the start of the ladder. There are few key points to know to unleash the full potential of this area. Like, sub, comment, let's go! Some may think that it is a bad area because it randomly spawns on that map outside of Loot Colleen, and online it will be a pain to find, but I'm here to help you. Thanks to the speedrunners analyzing maps, we got to know that these kind of tombs always spawn next to the stones, whether on the edge of the map or inner walls. That makes our search way more precise and easier. You can see it on the screen. No need for exploring big empty areas, just follow the walls and you will get there. In some rare cases you may need to proceed checking inner walls of the area. Next, inside the tomb, in order to be efficient you do not want to get to level 2 without clearing level 1 entirely. This is pretty easy to achieve, just turn right from your entrance tile and proceed counterclockwise to clear each room in it. Last one will be with the entrance to the level 2. There you can choose whatever way essentially. Doing this helps avoiding backtracking, which will make your runs way more efficient. Ok, the area itself. It is now level 85, has only one natural immunity, lightning, and few mobs have high poison res. It is a heaven for cold and fire builds, all your orb and hydro sorks will be amazing here. Only beetles can cause some kind of danger as they hit pretty hard and can be very fast. All the other mobs are rather weak. Area contains two more special things, one super unique creeping feature, who is always cold and poison immune and will always drop two items. Be careful with him as he is cold enchanted and can cause significant damage if your cold res is low. Second special thing, sparkly chest. The whole process of defining the drops from it is rather complicated, so let's make it short. You have chances to get unique, set, rare or magic items from it. Additionally, it is a good source for lower runes and gems. One very important thing, why I think this area is so good, it has a lot of chests and sarcophaguses, latter always dropping from a chest treasure class and pretty much acts as if you killed 5 and half mobs. That makes it so good, some stony tombs spawn with a room with around 6 sarcophaguses in it, not counting any other rooms. All these good objects amplify your chances in rune finding, so please make sure to click them all. all right, Hopefully I managed to convince you to give this area a try and equip you with the best knowledge on how to farm it efficiently. I would appreciate a like if you learned something new here. Also check out this video where I go over all Act 2 farming spots and suitable budget builds for them. Cheers guys!